One of my favorite animation software is Moho. Over the past few years, there have been significant changes and updates to the program. In this video, I want to review some of the changes to Moho and my overall thoughts on version 13.5. Before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thank you. Who are you Moho? If you're new to 2D animation and you don't know about Moho, here's a rundown. It's a comprehensive package for creating, rigging, and animating characters, objects, and scenes. Moho includes a range of excellent tools and features, which makes it one of the best animation packages available today. What happened Moho? In the past few years, Moho has undergone significant changes, including changes in ownership. Initially developed by Mike Clifton in 1999, it was distributed by eFrontier until 2007. Smith Micro then acquired and rebranded it as Anime Pro, which was confusing as it wasn't designed explicitly for creating anime, but eventually they returned to the name Moho and released the standard version for me, Moho 12. Then they released the divisive version 13. However, after version 13, Smith Micro decreased its effort for Moho with less social media presence, but still maintained some updates. If I had to guess, I would say Moho 13 didn't generate the response the company wanted, leading to uncertainty about what to do with it. However, in 2020, there was renewed activity, including an official announcement on the Lost Marble forums by Victor Paredes. We are very excited to announce that Moho 2D animation software has been acquired by Lost Marble LLC, the company founded by Mike Clifton, the original creator of Moho and Victor Paredes, supervisor of Moho Animation at Cartoon Saloon, former Moho product manager. After months of radio silence, the Moho community was ecstatic about this update and to finally get some news about the future of their favorite animation package. Now that Moho had returned to its original owners, it felt like positive changes were in the cards. Sometime after Lost Marble LLC acquired Moho, they released an update to Moho 13, known as Moho 13.5, and that is what happened, friends. What's new, Moho? So, what's new in Moho 13.5? We have several innovative and fun features, including Vitruvian Bones. Vitruvian Bones simplifies animating complex actions and foreshortening. It's a powerful way to rig characters, inspired by Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man drawing. The intuitive V-Bone system lets you alternate between different sets of bones and groups and animate them on the fly. This makes it easier to have rig characters with the appeal of traditional animation. Automatic Mesh Creation and Quad Meshes Moho's enhanced mesh power makes animation creation more accessible and more efficient. With the new quad feature, you can animate artwork in true perspective. These improvements allow for limitless possibilities in bringing illustrations, pictures, and drawings to life. Wind Dynamics Moho's latest addition to its physics toolset is wind dynamics, giving users complete control over wind direction, strength, and turbulence, bringing your scenes to life in minutes with this powerful and user-friendly feature. Stability Improvements Moho 13.5 has undergone significant stability improvements. This update was a phenomenal and significant one. While some may consider it a downgrade, it really isn't. Let me explain. Moho 13 introduced raster or pixel tools for drawing, similar to apps like Photoshop or Procreate. While this was a great addition, the implementation of it was not quite ready for prime time. It was a bit clunky and could have used further refinement, so the team at Lost Marble decided to remove this feature set completely. Ultimately, I felt that this decision to remove it and focus on tools better incorporated into the average Moho user's workflow was an excellent call by Lost Marble. In my opinion, the most impressive addition was the automatic quad creation and quad mesh feature. This feature expanded my options and allowed me to incorporate more pixel or raster artwork, but they weren't limited to those types of files. I could also include vector artwork in my mesh rigs. The Vitruvian Bones also opened up exciting new creative possibilities for me. Instead of creating intricate morphs to achieve varying body poses, I could stack different poses on bones in one rig. For example, I could have two separate arms in my rig for a straight arm pose and a foreshortened arm pose. When it comes to wind dynamics, I honestly barely used it, except for more specialized situations. The current version of Moho is excellent and I suggest trying it. 
I always enjoyed using Moho and I believe this version is a step up in the right direction. While version 13 wasn't terrible, this new iteration brings back some fun and enjoyment for me. If you haven't checked out Moho as yet, what are you waiting for? Download the demo now and see if it works for you. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have a great morning, evening or night. Bye now.